Chinese authorities said the outbreak in Wuhan has eased up, saying all temporary hospitals should have been closed by now and that no new cases have emerged. A local doctor's family member, however, told us that in recent days there were outbreaks inside several residential blocks in Wuhan's Hanyang district. This doctor's family member said there is no official report about this issue. Someone he knew went there to take a look and confirmed that not only the apartments but also the roads outside were blocked. He said many discharged patients got sick again. 据我了解,就很多出院的病人,就是官方宣称治愈了的病人,不管是从这个方舱医院出来还是从这个隔离的这个医院出来以后,又发病了,然后发病了又人传人,然后又是感染了很多的人。he added the official figures have been changing all the time in order to cover up the truth. A son accompanied his mother to a hospital in Wuhan on Tuesday. He told NTD someone without any symptoms had just been confirmed to have the coronavirus. And as to the business side, a new survey by the American Chamber of Commerce found U.S. firms in China were already seeing a decrease in profits even before the coronavirus outbreak. The survey found 21 percent of the 372 members who responded saw a drop in profits in 2019. That's compared to 7 percent in 2017. Only 61 percent reported profits for 2019, the lowest in almost two decades. One in four companies, nearly a quarter, do not expect their markets to grow in 2020. And also on the business side, Royal Caribbean Cruises on Tuesday withdrew its 2020 forecast and boosted liquidity amid coronavirus fears. Cruise operators among the worst hit by the epidemic, with cruise lines like rival company Carnival Corps' Grand Princess being docked off its destination on Monday and its passengers quarantined for two weeks. This after 21 people on board tested positive for the coronavirus. Royal Caribbean said it would cut spending, operating expenses and take other actions to improve liquidity by at least another $1.7 billion in 2020.